Hello friends, this video on is matter around us pure part 13 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So the question is how will you separate a mixture containing kerosene and petrol and the difference in the boiling point is less than 25 degrees Celsius and they are miscible also with each other. That means they are mixed with each other. So I have a sample which has kerosene and petrol. How will I separate? Since I know that the difference in the boiling point is less than 25 Kelvin. Distill uh, distillation will not help, right? So we have to go for, sorry, it is more than dist uh, 25 degrees Celsius. So I can actually go for normal distillation. If that was more than, less than 25 degrees Celsius, I would have gone for fractional distillation, but the difference is more than 25 degrees Celsius. I'm going for normal distillation, okay? So petrol has a, lower boiling point so petrol will come and collect in this condenser why petrol has lower bp so we have told that the one which has lower boiling point it vaporizes early easily right you have to heat gradually and then you have to maintain the temperature temperature maintenance is critical here you have to maintain the temperature of the boiling point of petrol only and in that case the petrol vaporizes and here water inlet and outlet cool water inlet and outlet which liquefies that vapors petrol vapors and you get this petrol vapors in this or you get this liquid petrol in this condenser okay the next is how to separate butter from curd see butter from curd we have seen that butter is actually lighter than curd so here the difference in the density. So we can use centrifugation process or we can use this churner to separate. So we can use centrifugation process or we can use churner. Salt from seawater. In salt and seawater if you see, uh, there is a difference in the uh, um, volatility. Salt is non-volatile, seawater is volatile, water is volatile. So we can actually do evaporation process. So you evaporate, water will evaporate, salt will be in the container. Camphor from salt. Camphor we know is sublimate and salt is non-sublimate. So we can use normal sublimation process to filtrate that. So when you have to find out which process you use to separate these uh, components, first see the properties. Well, how are they different? So in this case, bird and cutter, they, one is lighter, one is heavier. So we use centrifugation, seawater and salt. So one is uh, volatile, one is non-volatile, we use evaporation, camphor and salt. One is sublimate, one is non-sublimate, so we do sublimation. So this is for camphor and salt, this is for salt and seawater, and this is for butter and cut. Okay. The next is what type of mixtures are separated by the technique of crystallization? See, crystallization, we have seen uh, copper sulfate, we have seen NaCl getting purified. Okay. Or NaCl from salt water. Salt water has NaCl. So for this also we use crystallization. So crystallization typically separates pure solid. So it separates, so we have seen this, it separates pure solid in form of crystal. And this everything comes from solution. So it separates pure solid in form of crystals from solution. So we have seen this example of copper sulfate. Uh, crystals and sodium chloride crystals getting separated from the solution. To understand the actual uh, difference, more difference between the pure substance and the mixtures, let's understand the difference between chemical change and physical change. You must have heard about this term physical change, chemical change. See, physical properties are something like color, hardness, fluidity, density, melting point, boiling point. Those things are physical property. Okay. Example, this is liquid. That is a physical property. This water is not hard, soft, it's a physical property. The melting point, boiling point of water is again a physical property. Chemical property are something like the rate of burning, the rate at which a candle burn, the wax burn, and the rate at which the wood burn, the rate at which the petrol burns, and the rate at which the oxygen burn, sorry, let's suppose the water burns, are different. Water doesn't burn. Wax burn pretty fast, right? Wood burn a little slowly. So sodium burns pretty all the more faster. So that kind of thing, the rate of burning, acidic and basic nature, those are chemical properties. 
hope you understand physical and chemical property right physical property is something which you see which you can feel for example color gold is golden color silver is silver color iron is little uh, grayish color uh, phosphorus is yellow color these are colors this is a physical property the boiling point of water is something the boiling point is of uh, gold is something right the boiling point of gold is more than boiling point of water that is a physical property water is soft sodium is soft gold is hard or gold is soft you can say the iron is more hard so those are the physical properties right chemical property acidic property basic property burning property now if you see example ice water and vapor all these has different physical property this is solid this is liquid and this is gas but chemically chemically all are same all are h2o you must know h2o is water all are same but if you see there is an interconversion of state you heat the ice cube it becomes liquid you heat it further it becomes gas water vapors so interconversion of physical state is possible okay but if you see water and liquid water and let's suppose oil water and oil this is oil and this is water both have same physical property that is they are liquid but if you talk about the chemical property they are different right they have different smell oil burns what doesn't burn so they have different order they have different inflammability okay so you can have something which has same physical property different chemical property or same chemical property different physical property you okay, see in this case physical property is different chemical property is same in this case if you see both these two has same physical property here here it's same physical property but i have different chemical property here if you see i have different physical property but i have same chemical property so if you see these are not linked actually Phys chemical property and physical property are totally independent for example when you burn the candle if you see the candle is becoming smaller so there is a change in physical property also candle this area melts this from solid it becomes liquid change in physical property also since it is burning candle is converted to light heat energy there is a change in chemical property as well so this is one example where both chemical property and physical property is changing this is the example where both physical and chemical change take place so hope you understand what is chemical change and physical change so in case of burning of candle the wax is converted to heat energy there is a chemical change the solid wax converted to liquid wax that's a chemical change physical change so we have chemical change we have physical change Okay, so let's see some examples to understand physical change and chemical change. So, cutting of trees. What do you think? It's a physical change. There is no chemistry involved there. There is no chemical change, right? Melting of butter. This is also a physical change. The butter is melted. The butter is same. It is in melted form or solid form. Rusting of almira. So here there is a chemical change. This physical. This physical. Here actually, the rusting of almira is both physical and chemical change. Why? Because when the almira rust, the physical look also change of almira, right? It becomes a little brown color. Boiling of water to form steam. So water to steam, water is liquid, steam is gas. There is a change in physical property, but there is no change in chemical property. So it's just a physical change. Here also, cutting of trees is a big tree, it becomes small tree, physical change. Melting of butter in pan. Butter is uh, solid, and then it's melted become liquid. Physical change. Passing of electric current to water, and water breaking into hydrogen and oxygen. So there is a reaction. Water will break into hydrogen and oxygen. So if you see, this is a chemical change. Why? Because water is a different chemical. It becomes a different chemical. So this is a chemical change. 
Also, water is liquid and these two are gas. So I can say it's a physical change as well because the whole mixture was liquid become gas. Dissolving common salt in water. This is a physical change. There is no chemical reaction involved here. Cutting uh, fruit salad with the raw fruits again. This also you are making a fruit salad from a fruit. You cut the fruit. So you are changing the physical uh, property of the fruit from big fruit to small small pieces. It's a physical change. Burning of paper and wood. There is a burning. That means paper is converted to heat energy. There is a chemical change. Also paper is now not there. Right? It turned to ashes. That is also a physical change. Correct. So with that you can visualize what is physical change, what is chemical change. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch more videos. Attempt free online tests, get free study materials, find tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.